morning. How are you doing? Um, about to start finishing the neck on my Warmoth project. So what I'm going to do, in case you don't remember, I ordered this in roasted maple, which is a very stable wood, so it doesn't actually need to be finished. So what I'm just going to do is a couple of very light coats of true oil to um, really bring out the grain, the colour of the wood, and it will add a, um, have a very slight covering to it. So I've just taped off the fingerboard. Rosewood is a very oily wood, so I didn't want to throw too much oil onto that. So I'll do the neck first, and then I'll probably just do one coat over the rosewood at the end, just to maybe seal it in a little bit. But for the most part, this is going to be it. It'll be a pretty quick project. So I'll do um, two coats, and then I'll very lightly buff it down with some uh, 4 zero steel wool, just to remove any imperfections, and I'll have a look at it then. I don't think I'll need much more than two coats for this one, hopefully. Uh, it's pretty warm and sunny out there today, so I'm just going to hang it out on the line and let it dry between coats, give it a couple of hours between each one. So I've just got a small amount of true oil on. I've got a, just a balled up um, old t-shirt here that I've uh, cut up. It's just fairly clean and reasonably lint free. So, I mean, already I can just see the, uh, the darkening of that, the enhancement of the grain. It looks really nice. Just going to give it a good work into the wood. Alright. Yep. Could already see the difference in that. So I'm doing very, very thin coats on this. Um, I don't want to you know, layer it up too heavily. As soon as the oil goes on, you can start to see the uh, the difference in the wood. The grain comes up straight away. Any figuring that you've got in there seems to jump at you almost instantly, which is really nice. I'm just doing down the side of the heel where it will disappear into the body, but some of it will appear alongside the, the neck, so I'll just try and get that. The heel itself where it locks into the body, I'm not going to bother. Or I'll leave that as just raw wood. Okay, well, that's one coat down, that was easy. So what I'm going to do now is hang this up outside just for a couple of hours to let it dry in the sun. Uh, I'll come back in and do another coat in a bit. Alright, we'll see you soon. How are you doing? Just a quick update on what I'm doing with the body so far. Um, I have shielded the cavities with uh, conductive shielding paint, both the pickup cavities and the rear access cavity. And I'm going to 
once the neck's finished, I'm going to start um, putting the uh, the pickups together and doing all the electronics, and I sh hopefully will have the body finished over the the weekend. So you can just see how I've painted up to the edges in there, and that's where the um, grounding wire comes out for the bridge. Uh, ordered a football style plate that is for my uh, my input jack around here but it wasn't quite the right shape for the curve of the body so I just spent this morning very lightly bending that out slightly so that would work and then just painting a couple of the silver bits that go on the outside of the jack black because that was silver so that's where we're up to so far with that so I'm going to go out and do another coat on the neck soon and then this afternoon I might start on the uh, the pickups okay thanks <laughs>